Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Nick Martin, and today we're going to talk about forcing bolt heads with a set of irons. A uh, bolt head like we have installed here on this door could be installed in, in any variety of either commercially available or homemade uh, forcible entry challenges, uh, such as a drop bar or any similar configuration. So a lot of times the easiest way to remove, say, a drop bar is to defeat the devices that are holding that device to the back of the door. So, of course, if we had a rescue saw with a metal cutting blade immediately available, we could uh, cut these off just using a 45 degree angle on the blade, just coming in there and dipping and cutting the head right off of it. But sometimes the saw doesn't start or you pulled the cord out or it's not available and we need to know how to get things done with our hand tools. So just using a set of irons, I have my partner Danny Doyle here. We're going to go ahead and drive this bolt head through, forcing that portion of the drop bar bracket off the back of the door. A common uh, idea. Uh, is to take the blade of our ads and use it in a kind of shearing mechanism with an attempt to shear the head of that bolt off. But with a bolt of this diameter, it's unlikely to work. The blade is just not sharp enough and the uh, metal is strong enough that that's unlikely to work. A smaller bolt head, it can work, but probably not on this one. So what we're gonna do here instead is I'm gonna take the pike of my Halligan bar and I can really choose any area 360 degrees around the bolt head to start. I'll go here right to the side. I'm going to go right next to that bulkhead and I'm going to tell Danny to go ahead and drive. Go ahead and drive it through, Danny. All right, so what Danny's done there with a couple good hints is he's driven that pike all the way through. The pike obviously is tapered, very thin at the point, and then widened up. And what we've basically done is begin, begin to create a relief hole right next to the bolt head. So now I'm going to kind of ream that hole out a little bit to open it up just by working my bar. 360 degrees around, opening up that hole. I create a large opening on the back side, and because it's metal, all metal will react, react a little differently. I might have to drive it through, or in a lot of cases, it'll just fall through to the other side. And I could repeat that as many times as necessary to force the four or six or however many bolt heads involved in the brackets, and then force my door like an outward door. So a simple technique just to create a relief opening around that bolt head and allow it to fall through something we can use when our saw is unavailable or doesn't work for us. Thanks to our sponsors at Globe Manufacturing. I'm Nick Martin, and thanks for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes.